Studies show that at least 9% of people struggle with an eating disorder at some point in their lifetime. News Channel 9's Adrian Smith tells us about a program at Syracuse University working to prevent that. Destiny Arantes is a third-year clinical psychology doctoral student at Syracuse University. She's also a group facilitator for this year's Body Project, a series of workshops for girls and women who struggle with their body image. I have a family member with an eating disorder, so I've seen firsthand how impactful it is. Unfortunately, it is something that most girls and women do experience as body image dissatisfaction at some point. And so having these conversations makes it a little easier to confront um, that, that dissatisfaction and really challenge it. This year's body project has two groups, one for girls 12 to 17 years old and the other for 18 to 24 year olds. An important note, this is not a treatment program. Rather, it's a preventative measure for body acceptance. It can be really difficult um, for girls or women with body image concerns to talk about that. And so part of the group is really having these discussion with other girls to see I'm not experiencing this alone. Group discussions will also focus on acting and writing in ways that challenge what many of us believe is the ideal appearance. It really is getting at that societal pressure. So this idea that there's this perfect woman that looks this perfect way and acts this perfect way. Um, so the goal of this program is to really challenge that because there is no perfect person. Hoping to erase what we've been trained to believe and reminding every woman she's good enough just the way she is. In Syracuse, Adrian Smith, News Channel 9. And this program is only open to women and girls. However, if you're a man experiencing body image issues, the SU Psychological Center can provide you with individualized therapy sessions. For more information on the Body Project or to register, head to localesquire.com. The program is free.